Hi, I'm Tom Leichen from AeroCedar and I'm here to present to you the uh, U60 Agricultural Drone. Uh, this drone here comes with a 13 and a half gallon uh, spray tank or a 110 pound dry capacity. It's a quadcopter and it folds up uh, for easy transportation as we can see here. It has a special locking mechanism with this that, so that when the arm comes out it swings out and then it locks into place and to unlock it we use this release switch here. Yeah, so that is then locked into place and it has a sensor on board to make sure that it's locked properly. So we will do that to all of the arms here. Okay, we'll remove the... Okay. Yeah. Um, we'll remove the uh, prop protectors here, the propeller protectors, and unfold it. Totally, so that it's ready to fly. Yeah, these are 1.2 meter props or 58 inches. There we go. And remove this propeller protector here too. There we go. There, and now we're all unfolded. Uh, this drone comes with a dual pump system. Each pump is 12 liters per minute capacity, so that a total of 24 liters a minute of capacity of pumping, uh, which should be plenty to empty the tank in just a few minutes that we need. It comes standard with the uh, centrifuge, um, uh, centrifuge uh, nozzles, uh, so that you can then um, break up the uh, uh, droplet size to as fine as you want or if you need it to carry a little bit farther, you can slow it down so it doesn't, it isn't quite such a fine spray. Okay, here in the front, we have a forward view obstacle avoidance radar. Uh, we have the onboard FPV camera so that you can monitor your operations while you're going. And it also comes with some extra spotlights for uh, low visibility conditions. Yeah, here in the rear, uh, we have a rear view obstacle avoidance radar. And we have the terrain following downward view radar here so that you can maintain a constant uh, height over your crop during the application. Um, here we have the battery, which is an 18S 30,000 milliamp -er battery. Should give us plenty of power. We drop that right in there into its compartment. And then it doesn't give power right away until we press the button once and then twice to turn on the battery and then that activates the drone. And that's the U60 agricultural drone, a large capacity at a great price. Yeah, this will be a great worker bee on anyone's farm. Now let's go fly. Fresh out of the box here, and uh, we're gonna give it its first test flight, yeah? So, here we go. Uh, we're in uh, GPS mode now, and we're going to arm the drone. So, sticks down. Drone is unlocked. Okay, there we go. Yep, she's unlocked. Okay, and here we are. Oh, wow. Nice and cute. Oh, yeah. Look at this crap. Those are some big crap. Look at this. This is 58. Nice hand. on speed there, five meters per second, okay. Yeah. First flight, don't want to go too crazy, just give her a little speed. Five point seven. rotation. Six oh yeah, five. the yaw looks quite good. There's good swim to it. Must be plenty of torque on those props. Today we'll try a little close to 10 miles an hour. Get a little shake there, but not too bad. She's tracking well. 
Drones and trees don't mix. Don't mix very well. <laughs> I'll have to get into the parameters to give a little extra speed. You can see her leaning into the wind there. Yeah. A little wind out of the west, by southwest, which is normal for us. Okay. Well, why don't we bring her in for a landing? There we go, touch it down.